Hello team and welcome to today's video where we're going to be taking a look at how to perform basic math functions in Excel such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And where applicable, I'll show you what functions exist in Excel to help you perform these functions. Let's get started. Starting off with addition in Excel, we can enter the formula equals and then enter the first cell reference, B2, add the plus symbol and then enter the second cell reference of D2. Now you can press the enter key and you'll see the addition has been completed. The benefit of adding the cell reference is that if you change one of the numbers, I'll change the two to a 10 in this case, you'll see the formula updates with the new sum value. Excel also provides a sum function to easily add a range of cells. To input that, you can enter equals sum, highlight the range of cells you wanna add, and then press enter, and your addition has been completed. As a bonus tip, if you click the cell below all your values and press Alt plus equals on the keyboard, Excel will enter the auto sum feature for you. You can then just click enter, and again, your addition has been completed. To subtract two numbers in Excel, we'll enter equals and then click the first cell reference B4, enter the dash or minus symbol on the keyboard, and then click the second cell reference D4. Then you can press enter and you'll see the subtraction has been completed. While there is no subtraction function in Excel, you can use the sum function and include negative numbers to get your correct result. So here in this example, if I enter equals sum and highlight this range of values, press enter, you'll see Excel provides the correct numerical result of 20. In order to multiply two values in Excel, we can enter equals. We'll again click our first cell reference of B6. Then we'll enter the asterisk symbol for multiplication then the second cell reference of D6. When you press enter, we have our product. Excel has a built-in product function as well, so if we enter that into this cell, highlight the range of values we wanna multiply and press enter, you'll see Excel gives us our result. Finally, when looking to divide two values, we'll enter the equal symbol again, highlight our first cell reference of B8, we'll enter the forward slash, and then our second cell reference of D8. Then press enter, and you see we get our correct division result. In column C, you can see a quick reminder of each of the operators you need to perform these functions. And team, I hope you enjoyed this quick tip today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos.